Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this um, photo leap tutorial. In this photo leap tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this effect right here. I don't even know what it's called, but yeah, let's. Um, it's like a sketch grunge type effect. But yeah, I've not done a photo leap tutorial for a while and I still use it quite a lot. So let me just um, show you how to make this. So I'm going to click the home button here and then discard the changes. Um, so we've got no um, no creations. And then in the little plus box, just here on the left hand side, I'm going to click um, that little plus. So I'm going to grab the image. Now, so to create this effect, I think it's most effective if because it's got the stripe down the center of it. If you use something, the subject that you have in the center of it is it's sort of lengthways. It, um, it just gives a better effect. So you've got one subject in the picture and the stripe is going through that subject, okay? So um, this is really simple. Along the bottom, we've got our toolbar. Um, up the right-hand side, we've got our layers, in case you didn't know. Um, and then down the bottom, we've got our eraser. And so with this image, we want to um, want to click the little effects tab, the little colored one in the in the center there. And then this effect that we're going to apply is an urban effect. And um, we could use any of these, but remember the end result is that sort of stripe through the center. So we want something that's gonna show that stripe off through the center. So I would suggest either the ES6, because this is quite a nice effect in itself, or the ES2. So I'm gonna go with the ES6 here. Um, and then once you select uh, any given effect in Photo Leap, what you will see is you have these three little dots. Now those three little dots just mean that you can go in and edit further. Okay, so if you ever see those anywhere, just click them again, and then you get another toolbar that pops up. So it's sort of layered toolbars thing. And, um, and the thing that gives it this sort of brown um, sketch type of effect is the backdrop. So we're just gonna change the backdrop here. And then if we look up here to the GR4, um, this is the this is the stripe effect that we want. You could choose any of these, so you can mess around with any of these. If you've got a little arrow and you do subscribe, that just means you you haven't downloaded that effect yet. So just click it and download it. Um, so this is the one that I want to go with because I think it suits this image. Okay, so um, what you can do on this as well, coincidentally, is you get like this little refresh um, tab on the effect once you use it. Look, so if you use a, a an effect there um, and all that does is it just means that that effect can do something else or you can you can change so we can change the stripe so it goes across but in this um, instance we want it long ways okay um, click the little tick button down the bottom right hand corner to accept those changes and then we're going to go back a menu um, and then I'm gonna go into my filters because I want to change the color of this center stripe um, and I'm going to do that using filters you could do it various ways but I'm just going to use this BC2 here and you notice we've got those three little dots again so what we can do is we can change a few things on this BC2 and I'm just going to drag the intensity up a little bit just to make it a little bit darker and then you could go with fade and it would just fade the image which is sometimes quite nice on images and then grain which will just give the image a little bit more grain so i just wanted to increase the intensity a little bit and then i'm going to click the tick button again so now we're going to go into the, the adjust part and this is probably the most um the most difficult part for you to follow through so i'm going to go to the curves here and what i'm going to do with the curve so um i've got all selected um, I'm not using a specific color and we're just going to um, adjust the color curves here. So I want to make two other dots, one down the bottom and one a bit further up. We've already got one in the center if you look closely. Um, and then all we're going to do, so on the very first one that was already created for us, I'm just going to drag that up a little bit. Okay. so. What this does, that just gives a little bit of a, a sort of fade to the top of the image as well. So it's basically adjusting the, the darkest point in the image, okay? And then we're gonna go, and again, we're down in the in the low light, so we're gonna drag these down a little bit more so the darks become a little bit darker. Um, and then in the mid-tones, let's drag the mid-tones up, so the mids and then the highlights up here, we want to drag those down. So you see the highlights of the image, suppose you could use this 
this part up the left hand side of the, um, the image to see if I drag this up it's going to brighten all the whites of the image or the highlights of the image if I drag it down it's going to make it a little bit darker okay so I'm going to click the little tick button there and then what I want to do I want to um, go back to the effects and I want to give this a bit of a, a vignette feel um, with the vignette you can pinch and squeeze to make it smaller or, or longer and what I want to do is just have a little bit of a darkness in the corner so I'm going to select corner and to export this out top right hand corner click the little arrow so here you're just going to choose the medium that you want to export it to instagram facebook message or you just want to export it to your, your your photos you also do the export quality tiff png or jpeg and then the export size as well so um so yeah just click export then and that will export to your camera roll hope this um, i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or see or you have any um sort of requests for tutorials with photo leap give me a shout and i'll um, i'll see what i can get done thanks a lot for watching take care